dead meme. Hey guys, we're here to play some Seishinir. I would consider this the uh, the Dark Souls of the sandbox world. Uh, but all joking aside, uh, what I would like to do is we're going to cover power, but not this power because it's well done. I want to cover the early game power, the part where everyone seems to be struggling when you first get in the game and you're not sure how to really set up that initial power grid. So I'm going to go jump to that. All right, so your original power grid is going to mostly consist of these solar panels. And as you can see, this guy is getting a decent efficiency because, well, look at where he is, right? The sun's pointed right at him. But if we look at this guy, the efficiency is pretty low. Like It's uh, a little bit brutal. So we're going to miss most of the day, well, about a third of the day, depending on what direction your solar panel's facing. So this one's facing this way to acquire power, later in the day this is for the afternoon and we're going to put one up for the mornings so they'll take your solar kit in hand you can right click if you scroll the mice mouse wheel you could cycle between the various versions and just pop it into your grid there so now when the sun's coming up in the morning i'll be charging my station or this battery that runs this whole uh, theoretical factory through here and any battery charger stations, put them on the line side, not the, the load side of the branch circuits. Put it in this side, because if you are charging a battery on the other side of the station, you're just going to basically put batteries in here to charge batteries somewhere else. So if you go with this setup, this gets favored. When there's an overflow, it goes into this battery charger. So that is my little bit of advice as well. If you go above like three solar panels, upgrade this cable. Sometimes it burns out, especially with the solid fuel generator attached. And since we mentioned the solid fuel generator, we might as well take a look at it. This is what it looks like when you put it down. There are wire ports on the front and back. One of them is for data, one of them is for power, or power out in this case. And as you could see, if you put coal in there, just like that, you flip the switch, it'll generate power and and feed up your grid. So uh, it's pretty straightforward. I don't know why there's coal on the moon, but <laughs> that's a question for another time. All right, so let's talk about how the wire system works. It's much like any of the others. You push C to rotate. If you roll the mouse wheel, you'll get different kinds. But the really, really useful thing is if you have the wire tool in your hand, you can edit wires that have already been placed down. So let's do this. We'll put this down. And we'll start editing this wire and notice we can't but if we put the wire tool in our inventory then we're able to edit a system without taking it apart so it's just basically a little quality of life to make uh, things a little bit easier so if for some reason i have a roll of, of solar panels coming from this way i can do that oh and i'll just roll through till i get what i want and I think the example speaks for itself. I'm sure you'll figure it out. All right, since you're mostly on a solar power operation, uh, batteries are a big deal of what goes on. So the game starts you off with this portable solar generator. Um, it's okay. Uh, don't rely on this thing. It's not going to save you. But there are components that you can uh, find within your kit already that already have some batteries, as you can see inside of some of the tools here and even in the little handheld tablet. So if you pick it up, and if you hold down Alt, and then, you can, there you go, you can select it. And then after you left click on it, you can see that there's a battery in this guy. So if you are desperate and you really need a battery, you can plunder your tools. And then you can get some more batteries. The same thing with this guy, you can take the battery out. You could do it the same way, you could put it in your inventory. You can left click and pull it out. Or you can get fancy and throw it on the ground and pull it out that way. It's just something to keep in mind. There are a couple of ways in which to get some power at the beginning of the game. This is the ground penetrating radar. It comes with a battery in it as well. So the drill, the angle iron, the tablet, and your EVA all have batteries in them. And you can plunder them to charge up in your stations or to run your power grid off of when you say it's the middle of the night your game just started and oh man I need to print like two more frames to get a pressurized environment for my uh, so I can take my helmet off and drink water and not die right so it's just keep that in mind these are available to you 
Now, since we talked about batteries, where you could find them, so you can put them back in your recharge station as well, the only way for you to store any energy at the very beginning of the game is by using this area power controller, and you'll place a battery in there. And once you flip this switch, it'll allow you to draw power out of the system to any pieces of, equ of equipment you're running. And if it's green, it means it's kind of neutral. If it's blinking blue, that means it's charging. If it's blinking red, that means it's discharging. So if in the middle of the night you run out of power, you can just play the switcheroo here. And then as the sun comes up, it'll recharge this battery, then begin charging these ones. So uh, just keep that in mind, and don't forget to flip this button, because without it, nothing's going to happen. So there's a lot of interesting conversation that goes on around whether or not you should turn off a machine when it's not active. Uh, there is a small amount of power that's drawn. Like, you're not going to have this battery bank right away. So yeah, I really think you should turn your machines off, because you can't make this until you get steel, which is a little bit complicated. And of course, these uh, solar panels that track the sun... Uh, this you don't get for quite a while, so this is not really an option for you for a long time. So yeah, maybe you're going to have to be turning off your, your machines when you're not using them. So just remember, hit that little red button. Uh, we've noticed too that when you're using a battery, or not a battery, a flashlight, the battery drains a fair bit quicker. So if you hit L, just remember to turn that off when you're not using it. Just little tips like that should keep you going. That hopefully... This was helpful, like this is a, just an introduction to power. Uh, I would like to cover these uh, sun tracking solar panels. Probably do it a little bit later though. It's been done very well already, so I may avoid it altogether. But if you found this helpful, um, if you want to give me a like or a sub or uh, put in the comments something I've missed so I can pin the comment and help out anyone who's looking for help, right? See you go. See you all again later.